Hey guys, Modeling Weekly here. Sorry I haven't posted in over a month, it's been hectic with schoolwork and all of that, but by the end of this month I should be ready for weekly uploads. Anyway, in today's video I'll be fully building and painting Airfix's Harrier GR3. Well, let's begin the video. In the box we have the plastic parts, clear parts, instructions and decals. On with the build. Construction, as per usual, began in the cockpit. This wasn't massive, though what was there was of a very nice quality. The cockpit was painted with Tamiya XF24 diluted to about 50% with Mr. Color aqueous thinners. This was then followed up with some basic post shading with the same color along with a few drops of white. The seat cushions themselves were hand painted with Bayeco 70.894 along with a couple of drops of tap water. I then painted highlights a bit later on, again with a few drops of white added to the original colour. To add some extra detail, I created seat belts using very thin strips of masking tape. These were then painted beige. I also created the ejection seat handles using a piece of copper wire bent around a toothpick. Prior to the interior decals, I gave the cockpit a coat of Alclad gloss. The decals themselves were then applied using micro set and sole. I gave the cockpit a basic wash using brown oil paint with some white spirit mixed in. This helped to bring out the detail as well as giving it a worn, dirty appearance.
It was then just a case of assembling the rest of the kit. I was very impressed with the fit of a lot of the parts. In the end, I needed little to no filler. Very nice to see from Airfix. To give the kit some extra interest, I decided to remove the pre-moulded flaps on the wings. I then glued them back on in the downwards facing position. Any gaps were then filled with a small amount of Bayeco model putty. To initiate the painting process, I primed the kit with a decent layer of Ammo's one-shot primer. I find that this needs to be applied fairly thick, as thinner coats will increase the grainy appearance that presents itself with polyurethane primers. I forgot to film painting the base layer for the underside, though it was post shaded with the same colour along with a few drops of white. This was done at a very low pressure, about 4cm away from the model. The grey shade of the two-tone camouflage on this aircraft was painted with Mr. Colour Aqueous H82. This was then followed up by similar post shading to the underside, at the same pressure and distance. I find that for this sort of thing, you really need to get an exact thinning ratio along with a very clean airbrush nozzle to avoid blockages and spatter. Next, the green colour was applied. I'll be making a tutorial for how to airbrush camouflage in about two weeks time, explaining all of the intricacies in how to get a nice result. I haven't fully perfected it myself yet, though a lot of you have been asking about it so I thought I'd share my experiences so far.
As with the grey, some basic post shading was added to the green sections of the camouflage. A section of the tail fin was painted with Bayeco Olive Drab. If anyone knows the reason for this, please comment down below. All of the paintwork was sealed in with Alclad Aqua Gloss, ready for the decals. The decals themselves were applied again using Microset and Sol. As they were cartograph decals, I expected them to conform really nicely to the surface. However, the randles were pretty thick and took a lot of warm water and Microsol to get them to conform. This may have been my error, though I thought I'd just mention it. Following another gloss varnish, a pin wash made from spirits and oil paint was applied to the panel lines and other recessed details. This really helps to bring them out and can even act as a form of post shading if it is blended correctly. Some basic exhaust stains were added around all four jet outlets using a mixture of black and brown Tamiya paint. Everything was then sealed in with a basic Tamiya matte varnish thinned to about 50% with Mr. Color Aqueous Thinner. I used super glue to fix the canopy in the open position, applying only a small amount to avoid fogging the glass. I felt that I needed to use this type of glue here as the contact area between canopy and plastic was pretty small. The ordnance was then sprayed with each respective colour. The Sidewinder missiles were painted off camera with the same sky grey as the underside. I always use super glue to fix wheels in place, not only as it is fast, but I find it gives a more rigid result than using styrene cement. Well, here is the final result. I'm quite happy with it on the whole, especially with the post shading. I decided to make it a little more substantial than usual in the hope that it would make the aircraft look more used and worn in. I think the effect looks pretty good. The only thing I would do differently is thin the paint down further as in some areas it has speckled a little more than I would have hoped. Additionally, I could maybe have glossed the model a little thicker prior to the decals as they have slightly silvered in some areas. Though as I said before, I'd say it's pretty successful on the whole. 
Comment what you think down below and don't forget to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. That's it for today and I'll see you all next time. Bye.